Hi guys, it's Anne Crafty Kimchi. Welcome back to my channel. I am back with a collective haul. I got a order from scrapbook.com and I have two little things from AliExpress that I wanted to show you. So I picked up this. Um, it's a bee, bee themed or very honey themed um, die set and I've been kind of obsessed with bees I don't know why I'm just kind of like so you could see the body for the bee I believe there's wings here somewhere um wings 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 I'm not sure um again I'll have to take this apart but this is a shaker honey jar and I was like oh my god I need it in my life so I'm super excited to create with this a spring project I also picked up this I believe this is KS Craft this is a shaker butterfly or a bag topper and a shaker butterfly. Yep. So you got the shaker part here. This is the layering piece. And this is the bag topper part that folds in half. Perfect for spring. Have to pick it up. And then next up, I have a scrapbook.com haul. So they have some stuff on sale and there's some stuff that I wanted to pick up. Um... I just wanted to pick up so I have this magic luff which I recently hauled um this was on sale and I was like what they're on sale this is with love and I just picked up the puffies because I don't I don't actually have the collection and I didn't want to commit to another one but I'm a sucker for puffies so I thought these were super cute this is the magic love collection and if you haven't seen my video for that haul I did buy pretty much most of the collection um i'll leave that down below it's a beautiful collection i love to creating with it so happy to have it here are the satan crystals and they are really pretty look at that like opal looking one oh stunning and again these were on sale so i just had to pick them up and then these papers here um fortunately i don't have the pricing but i did buy some 12 by 12 papers as well I got, let's see, um, I got three sheets of this pink, and it's called the Cupcake Buffalo Check, and the back is a wood grain. I probably won't be using it for the wood grain, but it's a nice option to have, but I love the Doodlebug papers, and I wanted to get the, um, I love the check on it, so I thought I'd pick this up. I also picked it up in the... I don't know if you consider this hot pink, um, but this is also a very pretty color. And here's the back. So I just picked them up. I mean, even for Valentine's Day, I thought they would be perfect. I also picked up a couple of sheets with from the With Love collection. Um, I just got the cut aparts because I thought they were stunning and they were on sale. So I did pick them up. Here is the cut apart sheets. And again, it has rose gold foiling. Like, I'm not a fan of these more Victorian looking ladies. I'm not even sure if it's Victorian. But there are elements in here like that present. Again, with the bee. Ooh, I love the bees. And just all the pink accents in it. So pretty. And then in the back of it is this beautiful swan. And it says all of these beautiful sentiments, the best of friends, always together, always. So I just picked up three sheets of this because I thought it was just a gorgeous little sheet and I don't have the collection. So I thought it was a nice way to satisfy my taste buds. I also picked up this Frank Garcia. If you guys don't, can't tell, I've been really on to a Frank Garcia cake lately. Um, maybe because Maggie Holmes collections have been a little bit mm, not my favorite or not as inspiring. I will tap into her older collections because I have a ton. So I'm kind of trying something new, maybe a little more mixed media. So we'll see how that goes. But I did pick up this um, memory hardware and these are adhesive tags. So you see them here. He does a lot of classes with them. And if you peel this, this is the sticky part and you put um, deco paper on top and then you can, you know, paint it, do whatever. And I love how thick they are. So I just picked up a pack to try my hand at it. I also picked up two decorative frames because I have problems, you guys. 
I am in love with these frames. I think they're so pretty. And when I get to it, of course, I haven't gotten there yet. I want to create a large altar piece that I can put in my home, um, be it Valentine's Day or even any kind of spring project. So I did pick this up. Can't wait to like decorate it. It is made out of resin. So I wish again, I said this before, I wish there was a mold for it. So I totally make a million of these. I also got another one of these because I kind of felt terrible about altering one of them just in case. So I picked up another one. I know I have problems, but again, I've been on this Frank Garcia kick, so I have to get it. I also picked up this Magic Love 6x6 because again, I like I said, it was on sale. I don't know why, what kind of sale they were doing, but I am in love with this paper. Just, it's a really pretty collection. So I just got another pack. I picked up a new mold. I haven't actually been playing with a resin as much as I'd like. But um, again, because I'm on this Frank Garcia kick, I saw this mold and it was like maybe the last one, I believe. But it is like this laurel wreath kind of. I love this piece. And I just figured if I put it on a tag, oh my goodness, I thought it would be so pretty. So I did pick this up and then I just love all the little accents. This wreath is also beautiful. Even the little side pieces, this is a little thin, but nothing that my resin can't be poured into. I thought it was a beautiful um, mold to have and I'm just doing what inspires me. Um, I also picked up some big dies because Andrea um, had shown a project and I wanted to create some felties so I picked up some dies just put this away. I picked up some Sizzix Bates dies you guys so I got this bear I'm not sure if she showed this one but I was like you know what let me get it it's the Scandi Bear, and I bought a bunch of felt from Hobby Lobby, so I'm dying to create something with this. And I do have some ba friends who are having babies, so I thought this would be a cute little baby project to do for them. And I also got this one, and this one is the, it says Christmas character. I don't really get much Christmas, but she does love um, woodland creatures, so I thought this was a really fun piece. And then I got this one here, and this is definitely Christmas, but I was like, oh my God, I need it. It is the Christmas ornaments. So you get the star, the Christmas tree, and the candy cane, and I thought it was a really good deal. So I picked that up, and that is it for my haul, you guys. I will leave product information below if you are interested, and stay tuned. I'll have more project shares coming up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.